Yo, in Bisbee, Arizona, I wanted to show you some of the back streets. This incredible town. Check out these buildings. Now Bisbee is in the mountains. Nothing is flat. Uh, kinds of reminds me of San Francisco in many ways. Uh, not that I've been to San Francisco, but it's just, um, all the buildings are so unique and different and nothing's level. But it's a uh, pretty amazing place. Get to see. There's so many steps in this city or town. You get a serious workout. Plus, I'm not used to this elevation. <laughs> I'm used to sea level. Um, we're about 5,300 feet up. And there are just steps and steps everywhere. Such a unique place. So many colors, variations. Here's a prime example of steps. I'll take you through here real quick. Like this is very common. Here in Bisbee. Oh, so these just go up and up and up and up and up. What a gorgeous building that is. Let's uh, go to some of the other areas. More brick buildings. All different looking. More areas, more steps. Everywhere there's steps. Nothing's level. Oh, a pomegranate tree. Not ripe yet. Sorry. <laughs> uh, look at this. It's so unique. Wow, look at that. What a gorgeous church. Man, I'm getting bit up by the bugs. Shingles on this is amazing too. Presbyterian Church. Wow, what a gorgeous building. Gorgeous. see some of the homes all different not cookie cutter homes sorry I just walked up a hill um, look at that it's beautiful this church big old bell on it Yes. 
massive. You can see more homes, all different, all on a cliff on the mountainside. I don't know if the camera can show it, but man, their bugs are out like crazy today. Check out this house. I'd just like to have some groceries and walk up that way. And by the way, this is up a hill <laughs> to get to here. Bisbee Historic District, 1908, the Angus House. And more copper right there that hasn't aged. Man, what a cool house. I wanna show you, there's the mountain. And then here's the road, the main street of Bisbee. With all these different businesses. A unique area. Pretty crazy. Now I was gonna come here in February, actually on the twelfth. And if you guys remember right, if you guys have been following me, I was sick like half of February and most of March. I thought I had COVID and I didn't. I tested many times negative. And um, what a unique place. Uh, but I was supposed to come here the 12th. I had plans. Oh, check out these tiles that are on the ground. They're like purple. So, wow, what a unique place. But there was a fire on uh, Valentine's night, February 14th of 2024. And I just didn't want to come down here and film it while, uh, while it was in disarray, but they're still working on it. Now, as you can see, if these buildings were all wood, this whole place would have burned up. But because you are your neighbor's wall, they were able to save it, this whole neighborhood. But you can still see the damage from the fire. I had to tear down the bricks. Two of these buildings were lost. And a lot of these our businesses on the bottom uh, 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 and uh, homes on top. Wow, it's a unique building. It's gorgeous. But well, it kind of looks like a castle right there. But a lot of unique places here. Uh, if you love art, Bisbee's the place for you. If you love mining, this place is for you. If you want a lot of rich history, Bisbee's the place for you. If you like small towns, man, this is the most unique, unique town I've ever been in. Look at this Copper Queen Library, 1882. What a gorgeous building. Uh, you have magicians here. You have musicians here. You have artists of all sorts. Uh, it's such a unique place. Highly, highly recommend Bisbee. And spend a couple days. Uh, some of that artwork. Of antiques. This is also the post office. 
and truth be told, because there are so many steps, because all the buildings are built on a mountainside, a lot of the delivery services don't exist here. You come here at the post office to get your mail. But yeah, this is the main strip of Bisbee. Uh, you want, like, there's no, like, McDonald's here. There's no, uh, fast food chains here. I think there's one Burger King um, and a Dairy Queen. Everything else is all like local stuff. If you like that kind of stuff, come to Bisbee. Bisbee Coffee Company where they, they, uh, they roast it. And if you want them to grind it, they'll grind it. There's a lot of, oh, if you're into ghost hunting, man, this is another great place to come here. There's many, many ghosts. Oh, you can see a cave up there. I wonder if I can zoom in. Yeah, there's a cave right there. That's cool. Probably an old mine shaft. There's so many mines here. unique reddish orange color of the the ground here and then you get to see the bee up there representing Bisbee and if you're in southern Arizona and living in the bigger cities come to Bisbee just because it's cooler I think uh, I'm from Tucson, Arizona, and it was going to be like 106 today. I think it's like 90 here today in Bisbee. It's still warm, but it's it's a uh, it's July, so um, it's a cooler climate. And there's the museum that I was at earlier, and where I got lunch was across the street. This cool statue cactus grown on it it's kind of cool it's right by the uh, museum nice little park all right that's going to do it for uh, for this video uh, I'm gonna go uh, to Lowell which is a smaller smaller town um, Pretty much is part of Bisbee. Um, we're gonna go check out the Lavender Pit. Uh, it's a big open pit, uh, mining pit, uh, that's no longer open, but it's, um, well, not running, but it's an old, big open pit. I'm gonna go and show you guys that, and uh, maybe some scenery around here. Um, we'll see, I'm running out of daylight, so uh, I'll try to get more of it done. Alrighty, if you guys hit that thumbs up, that share button, and if you can sub, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, but it means a world to us YouTubers. Um, it's how we can get monetized, and then we can do more things like this and bring it to you guys. Um, greatly appreciate it. See you on the next one. Peace, love.